What's up, YouTube? It's Chance Cannon, back with another video. So, I didn't post the video that I made for Friday because I just forgot. So, we're going to go ahead and post it today. Right now, it's about 3 o'clock in the morning. I couldn't sleep, so I'm up, man, posting these videos. So, we just hit 45 subs. We almost at 50 subs. Before we get into the video, I just want to thank all y'all for liking my videos and commenting and subbing to the channel. Shout out to all my new subs. I just picked up me a new backpack because my last backpack broke. So yeah, I had to go buy a new one, but we're gonna get right into the video. So let's get into it, man. YouTube, YouTube. What's up? It's Chance Cannon back with another video. So today is Wednesday. It's the last day in the field before we go on uh, break. So before we get into the video, always like, comment down below, subscribe if you're new. And we're going to get into it, man. So the first job is about, let me see, it's about 13 minutes out. So before I go there, I'm going to get some gas, and then we're going to head on out. So let's get into the video, man. All right, so we just made it to the first job, and it's an apartment. So I'm hoping it's going to be pretty easy. So we're going to see. So when I find out what's happening, I'll get right back with you. All right, you two back at it. So... This job, I would have been done a lot faster, but I had to go use the restroom, man. And you know, I try to be polite. I don't want to use the restroom in nobody's crib, you feel me? So the problem she was having was uh, basically her amp was unplugged in her closet. As soon as I saw the amp unplugged, I already knew I ripped, that's what it was. So on to the next job. And we're gonna see what happens. Now, it's pretty slow right now because you know, with Thanksgiving being tomorrow and everything. So, we're gonna see what we can do. So, when I get the next job, I'll be right back with you. We at the next job. And believe it or not, the next job was like two minutes up the street. So, they had an appointment for three, but hey, I'm free now, you know? So, we're gonna see what it is. It's looking like it's a full install, so. But the good thing is the tap is right here out front, so I don't got to get my ladder or nothing. So that's a good thing. So let's get it, man. Right, you two, we back at it. So the customer's getting a new install. Right now I'm at his house. And uh, pretty much some new houses, so the tap is on the ground right here. You can see the tap is on the ground. This dome was on it, so I had to put this key in here to get it off. So now we're going to get signals at the tap. And hopefully everything should be good, and we can go ahead and hook him up. Easy money. Now, a lot of times when you come to people's houses, like the tap, the tap is sometimes on a pole, but since this is a new house, the tap was right here and it was buried on the ground. So what I had to do was use a shovel over here, the shovel, I had to use this shovel to dig it out. And then, you know, I was able to get to it. Now, sometimes you'll come to a tap and you're not able to get these domes off right here. So sometimes you have to kick it or get you a, uh, a flathead screwdriver and put it in here and try to turn it. But sometimes it won't turn it open, so you just gotta kick it open. So yeah, that's just a little tip for y'all. So right now I'm gonna get my levels right here. I got my meter connected and we gonna see if it's a good levels at the tap. All right, so I ran it. I ran the uh, test at the tap, at the other tap across, at the other tap across the street over here. And as you can see, it's showing no channels detected. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use this terminator tool See these terminators right here? I'm gonna take this, take it off, use the tool to take it off. And then we're gonna see if uh, we can get some signal out of here. All right. Got my meter, my quick connector. Remember, I was telling you about these quick connectors. Hook it up and we're gonna see if we can get some signal. All right, so looking like so far so good. We're running the test. We got our connector going to the tap. So, so far so good. This is an active tap. But I don't know if, if I'm gonna be able to run it from here because I'm gonna have to run it from across the street, over there, over that way. So I don't know if they are gonna let me do that. So I gotta call my supervisor and see what she wants me to do. All right, so it's looking like we're just gonna have to reschedule because uh, this tap is dead and yeah, so. I'm gonna go and tell them we're gonna reschedule and then on to the next one. So it is what it is, man. It's looking like we got dead taps. So I'm just gonna have to get maintenance out here and 
hopefully they can fix it. <sighs> because, hold on, let me lock, make sure this door is closed. Get y'all set up over here. Yeah, because, you know, there's only so much I could do. I'm on this technician, you know, I'm not maintenance, so I can't fix no taps. So I'm gonna call my supervisor and we're gonna get maintenance out here to fix these taps. And then maybe she can have me route it back out here and then I can get them going. All right, so now I'm just sitting on the phone waiting to get this job off me. So hopefully I can get it rescheduled. I should be able to get it rescheduled because the taps are dead. So we gonna see. Um, today has been pretty kind of slow because at first I had a meeting, so I didn't get started till 12, and I usually get started at 10, and now we're waiting for this, and I can't go to another job till I get this one off me, so whenever I get this job off me, we'll get on to the next one, and we'll see what happens. All right, we just got to the customer's house, and I'm looking at them, uh, their equipment on scope, and it looks like it just went down, so yeah. So the job notes say everything was working fine until the line got buried. So I'm finna go check the line and see what the problem is. So when I find out, I'll be right back. All right, so now I'm running a new line. Cause for some reason when this line got buried, when it got buried, it uh it messed up somehow. So I'm finna just run them a new one. So here's the line right here. And then I'm gonna connect this in to here. And then we should be good to go, man. All right, so I'm just gonna tell you guys what happened on my last two jobs because I wasn't able to record because it got pretty hectic. So on that on my second to last job, because I had three jobs that day, because one of them got canceled because it was so slow. So on my second to last job, when I was cooking up that line, once I hooked up the line up, Pretty much he needed an amp in his attic and I didn't have an amp. So I had to wait till somebody came, bring me an amp. And then once we got the, the amp installed, then you know, his services came back up and running. And then I put in a work order to bury that line that he had because somebody has to bury the line. So we got, then I had one more job. The other job was um this guy, he was saying his internet was out. So when I got there, he said that, uh yeah, the, the technician came out, but you know, it's, it went back down again. But when I looked over at his CPE, which meant what stands for customers, I think it's like product equipment or something like that. But anyway, when I looked at the CPE, it uh, the, like the wall plate, it didn't. It was an old wall plate. It wasn't new. So automatically, I knew right off then he needed a new wall plate. So all I did was change the wall plate, and bam, it came back up. So that job was pretty easy. And then by the time I got done with that job, you know, it was time to go. But yeah, that's going to be the end of this video. Thank y'all for watching. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Drop the comments down below, man. I know this is a late upload, but I'm going to keep the videos coming. And until next time, peace.